I am chatting with uh, Jim Albertelli from Voxter, and we are going to talk about MSR specifically because there's some misunderstanding there. So, Jim, thanks for joining me. Great to see you. Great to be with you. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. So, MSR stands for Mortgage Servicing Rights. And I want to start basic because this is an area where, you know, it's not like, simple as buying a car okay right so right so let's let's go through uh an example i'm buying a house okay i'm buying a house and my mortgage payment is a thousand dollars a month okay all right let me uh, stop you there mario okay. let me stop you there right there you're buying a house and you create a mortgage all right so you don't pay it all in cash you're going to have the like most homeowners you're going to have a mortgage somewhere between you know 60 and if it's a if it's a government loan it could be 97 percent of the value so you create this debt obligation and that mortgage has a couple different components it's got interest payments and it's got generally principal payments okay um it uh, it has the rights to service that loan which is a small amount of money on every payment that mortgage servicing right is one of the only investments in the marketplace that is goes counter to a rising interest rate environment for so think about this when do people refinance and and mortgages get paid off and the ability to take the strip of income and service that go away when rates go down so the perfect hedge for rates going up is the mortgage servicing right because you're going to get that little payment month over month over month over month over month and the average value in the average MSR, okay, is about $2,700 per unit. Now, why is it so important to Voxter? A couple things. But, but hold on, let me let yep. me ask you this. So so when the mortgage is originator, yes. a mortgage originator, yes. that mortgage originator at the time of origination owns the mortgage servicing rights, am correct. I correct? They, they own, they own the, when they, when they originate, alone they own the the rights to have the interest paid back the principal paid back and they can do the servicing okay okay so then uh when when they sell the loan on the secondary market yes it, what do they usually do do they do they maintain the mortgage servicing rights or do they also sell those rights it's it i'll say this it depends if you're um if you're a financial institution like a bank um and then you originate those loans you may retain the mortgage servicing right service it because you want the relationship with the customer remember the mortgage servicing right is also powerful not only as a hedge but it also brings with it deposits so if you have so think about it when when you're cash constrained let's say you're a mortgage originator and a servicer and you're not originating many more mortgages but you've got these mortgage servicing rights that are going up in value okay taking those rights and selling them to give you new capital that's that's your asset that is basically your atm card if you're a servicer who's originated loans and you're servicing those loans and you have the mortgage servicing rights that msr okay that mortgage servicing right is an asset on your books that you can then sell to a third party say a credit union say a say a bank whatever whoever you can sell that right and to a bank, it means, wow, I now have a customer relationship and I have a depository relationship and I have something that increases in value um, as the rates go up. Okay. So, uh, okay. so, so, so that's so, part of the game that's going on. Okay, so if, if let's say, the way I understand it is, there's a mortgage payment. So let's say the yes. mortgage payment is $1,000 a month. Yes. Pa part of that mortgage payment goes to the owner of MSR. That's okay? right. That's like, right. like how, how, what would be the percentage? 50 That's bucks, few, 10 it, bucks? Yeah, it's a few bips. It's a few bips. That's why when you when I say the average is, is $2,700, let's say on your average loan, you're looking at so many months of so many basis points totals up to that. So call it 50 to $100. That little strip of income goes out to as, and is part of the servicing of that loan. The rights that are uh, associated with servicing that loan are, you know, can come with it, have the ability to contact the customer, keep the customer in your pool. Um, if you escrow money, hold the escrow so it increases your depository base. So that's why the MSR is so valuable. And that's why it's counter cyclical in today's market. I don't think the market fully understands. Why do blue water? Why did Boxster do blue water? Well, think about it like this. 
everything that Foxter does in its data store, tax, title, valuation, the flood, property condition, all of those data elements are necessary and support the physical asset that underpins the interest payment, the principal payment, the mortgage servicing right. So everything that Voxter does is pumped into and can be consumed by that platform. And it gets you one step closer to the investors. So the investors, that the pension funds, the hedge funds that want to buy MSRs because maybe they're in the bond market and they want, you know, bonds, prices go down when rates go up, right? Well, what did I just tell you about MSRs? MSR value goes up when rates go up. So it's, it's the contra, it's the other side of the pricing of bonds, right? So for big investors, this is a great investment vehicle to either um, to diversify their risk, to hedge their portfolio. It's a very good product. And right now we're in a, raising rate, a rising rate environment. So it's, a, it's an opportunistic deal to do two things. One, there are going to be a ton of, of bulk MSR trades but over the next 12 months. And those trades consume Voxter data, tax, title, valuation, all those things go into those homes. So when you trade those loans or trade those MSRs and you do due diligence, you review the loan documentation, you review the title, you review the tax, et cetera, um, all of that is synergistic sales to Voxter, not in our current guidance. So we're looking at now the opportunity with Blue Water to move closer to the money that then determines what services are used downstream and to have another counter cyclical business to the origination side of our business, which provides valuation to mortgage originators and, and, and helps uh, servicers mark their book to market. So Blue Water's ability to trade whole loans and do it in an automated format, reduce the time of due diligence from weeks to days, reduce the time of settling trades, um, automate the, the data intake um, and extraction process, price the loan, price the MSR, and allow um, you know, the aggregation of data and, and to sell those MSRs or those whole loans or the second liens or scratch and dent loans or NPLs, which means non-performing loans or RPLs, re-performing loans. And think about that last market. As rates go up, there's gonna be more and more of non-performing loans. So what you're seeing is Boxer's now ability to integrate all its current data sources into a platform and to be in exactly the right market at exactly the right time which is a tremendous MSR market. And now, you're, now your listeners understand that the MSR gets more valuable as rates go up, that the MSR helps fuel liquidity for mortgage originators so they can sell their MSRs. Blue Water facilitates the sale of those MSRs. And wouldn't you think too, that if we were helping lenders increase their liquidity, that we could also sell those lenders additional Voxter services, right? So now you can kind of see it when we talked about our organic growth and landing and expanding, this is a prime example of having a platform that trades these assets in an automated way using artificial intelligence, um, robotic process automation, machine learning, those, those um, uh, uh, technologies to basically facilitate uh, an automated and seamless transaction into the secondary market. That's what's so beautiful about this blue water acquisition and the market hasn't appreciated it. The investors haven't appreciated that this is, this is going to mean additional growth through next year. So if you're looking around all your stocks, maybe you've checked, you're looking at your portfolio and you've got to think to yourself, well, what companies are going to be generating more cash next year? What companies are going to be expanding? Well, we know the mar MSR market's increasing. We know that it, to trade an MSR or a whole loan, you have to review title, you have to review tax, you have to review valuation, you have to review flood. Um, who has all of those, who has that entire data store? Oh, that'd be Voxter. And who has the platform to do it in an automated way? Oh, that'd be Voxter. So in this, in this expanding MSR market, you know, you've got a company that is perfectly situated to take advantage of it. What does that mean? Well, it means clearly that we're going to continue to increase our top line revenue and our profitability through next year. Um, and, and, I, and that is at a time when all these other prop tech solution companies are going down. Um, we have, don't forget, we also have default. It just hasn't come back as strong as it will. But if you looked at the latest numbers, 
savings accounts are down 40, 50%. So what's going to happen? There are going to be more defaults and 30, 60, 90s are increasing. So we just haven't seen them yet, but they're going to be coming. Defaults are going to increase and people are going to start tapping into their equity. I said in my earnings call, we have $11 trillion of tappable equity. That's, that takes you up to 80% loan to value. People are going to be using the home equity to pay for bills, to cover costs. And Voxter has all the data to do that today. And with Blue Water, we can also trade those seconds for the originator and help them generate more cash. So you want to think about a strategic play in Blue Water. Why do we do Blue Water? Well, Blue Water cons consumes all of the different data elements we have. Two, Blue Water, it's counter cyclical to what's going on. We're in, the, we're in one of the largest MSR markets over the next 12 months. It is right there. Three, we haven't hit it yet, but uh, NPLs are going to increase as defaults increase. We can trade those. Four, People are going to be tapping into their their home equity to pay things, just like they did in the early 2000s. There was a ton of home equity being done. That's going to do happen again, and and Blue Water can trade those assets, and Boxster can insure them, can can review the tax and the title, which will be which will be ne necessary for that. So if you're thinking about all of the different reasons for Blue Water, you now can see it was a bargain. It is perfectly timed. And it's going to allow our investors to take advantage of it. And by the way, it was a, it's a small staff generating big returns. It's a SaaS-based business. Um, Gary and I have told the investors we're doing a few things and we're still working towards those things. We talked about the things that people would expect, TSX and, and other things. People were working on those. Of course we are. We're loading up clients now for AOL. We said we were going to do it. We didn't have it as fast as we like, but people are pivoting and it's it's happening now. We talked about you know how we would expand and increase profits next year. We talked about building the business. We're doing all of those things. And if you notice too in the announcement, you know you've got a great partner in BMO Harris providing debt on this deal and and taking an equity position. So, okay, the bank's taking another equity position, so a super conservative bank. I would imagine if I was sitting back as an investor going, I'm looking at the stock market. There's a lot of red in it. What's going on? Um, oh, property's getting killed. Who is going to win if property gets killed? Who's going to win if costs have to be cut? A data company, technology company like Voxter. Voxter's going to win. Voxter, it's going to force people to innovate. When there's a ton of business, people don't innovate. People are innovating now. Nine new AOL clients that'll start scaling up um, in the fourth quarter. Um, Blue Water is a prime example. MSRs are gonna be trading in bulk. We're gonna be winning on that, that bet too. Then people are gonna be doing home equity and more defaults are gonna show up, which means NPLs. Now Blue Water is gonna be doing seconds and NPLs. So now you not only have that strip of money, those BIPs on every payment as the mortgage servicing right increasing with rates going up and the Fed said they're gonna increase rates you know, likely again, um, that is going to be big wins for for Voxer. I, I think that uh, people will have a hard time understanding why uh, MSRs go up in an, a rising environment. But like, so so let's say let's say I'm an owner of MSR. Yes. And I'm I'm collecting hundred dollars. Yes. And then it costs me something to service it, right? Yeah. So very so, I, I, so I I I collect a hundred. Uh, so, so what? It might cost it, me ten bucks to service it. If that, well, yeah. If that, if it's a, it wouldn't be a hundred dollars. But let's just use your example. Let's say a hundred dollars, and let's say it's ten or fifteen uh, percent of that to service. Remember, if it's a performing loan. Um, you know, the money's coming in and in an automated way through uh, probably a direct deposit, no one touches the money. Um, the money comes in and a lot of this uh, process is being done completely auto in an automated way, which is why it's, it's, a, it's a smaller margin business, but a good business if you service over many years. I'll explain to you right now why, do mortgage, why are mortgage servicing rights more valuable in a rising right environment? Very simply. Rate, when you have your mortgage servicing right, which is that ability to collect those payments over time. Uh, the mortgage has, let's say, a 5% interest. If the mortgage rate goes up to 6%, 7%, 8%, the, the, that person that owns, that has that mortgage, it's very unlikely that they're going to refinance that mortgage because the payments would just be higher, higher, and higher, and higher. So, um, so, those, so, those, so those monthly payments, payments go on servicing. longer. Right. right. Go on so, longer. So, Right. So, so in other words, if, if there's a 30 year mortgage, 
yes. it's more valuable for the owner of MSR if that mortgage never gets refinanced. That's right. But, but in in a in a in a re, uh, lo lower rate environment, yes. we don't know that mortgage could be cut from thirty years to three years, and, and it could be refinanced to another lender. You could lose right. your portfolio altogether. So yes, that's exactly it, Mario. So that so on. that that's why that's why the value of the MSR is lower when interest yes. rates go down, correct, and it's higher when interest rates go up mostly because it's not going to get refinanced risk prepayment risk exactly you're on it you nailed it okay so all your borrowers so, can understand that because you're all of your listeners they they own homes they refinance in the last refinance boom they're at you know let's say two and three quarters three four percent now the rates are you know five six seven percent they're not going anywhere they're not refinancing their payment is so low it they're not going to refinance they're going to continue to pay on it what they might do is take a second mortgage okay for in some of that equity and then um and then take money out of their home on that second to buy a pool to put kids through school to pay for medical bills whatever it is that that second on the back of a first makes the mortgage servicing right even more valuable because it's one more barrier to refinance so right now you have a first and second mortgage very unlikely to refinance okay so so who who is buying those msrs like like who is hedging because yes. anybody that owns a bond portfolio that yes. goes down with bond yeah. bond portfolio is a prime example um, um head you know large uh pension funds um insurance companies um even other mortgage players other mortgage companies may put my volume like let's say you're um, an independent mortgage bank and you have a servicing portfolio and you've got mortgage servicing rights um but you have no banking arm no traditional banking arm well maybe you sell those msrs over to let's say if those loans were in a in a region like in um, illinois and ohio maybe you have a regional bank and the regional bank says you know what if i buy these msrs i get a client relationship I can open up other bank accounts for them. I'm going to have the, their deposits, their escrow deposits, so I can build the bank. And then I'll have also something counter cyclical. You know, I'll have this MSR um, on my books. So a regional bank may look at it and say, look, I really want to expand my depository relationship and build and bring in more borrowers. Well, why don't I buy the MSRs that are in my, in my area? And that's something Blue Water does too. Blue Water can aggregate all of the origination of these loans and then sell them in an automated way, a very efficient way, um, which most people don't have, uh, that cannot avail themselves to, to these regional banks or small banks or whatever that are looking to build depository relationships. So it's not only the, the, the pension funds, it's not only the insurance companies, but it's also, um, it's also the regional banks that want deposits and want to build relationships with customers. They'll buy MSRs too. Okay. Okay. So now I understand why a buyer would want to buy them. Now let me ask you, the the owner now, the owner, yes. the mortgage originator that has yeah. them at the yes. first place. Why do they want to sell them? And I don't understand how it helps them with li with liquidity. Well, when because they're gonna let's say they sell that MSR and let's say it's it's three thousand dollars in MSR. Okay. Let's say the the MSR piece is worth three thousand dollars alone. Just for easy math, and you're looking at a, you're looking at your origination team. The rates are up. You've got no new cash flowing in. Yes, you're making a little bit of money on the on the MSR because you're servicing it, but you're not being able to take the full value, the full advantage of the depository relationship. So you've got very low cash flow. You're capital constrained, but you've got this asset. Well, you haven't pivoted to home equity yet. You don't have the inflow. So you have no cash coming in, but you got this asset, okay? Well, the first thing you do is to enhance your liquidity is to take those MSRs and to sell them to somebody that they're more valuable, right? So you take your MSR, your mortgage servicing, right? And you sell it to that regional bank or you sell it to that hedge fund and you get a big influx of cash, right? So if it's, you know, for every thousand loans, you know, it's $300,000 that comes into your company. You might have hundreds of thousands of loans or 50,000 loans. I mean, it's a big check that you can sell these rights and receive, and then you can um, put that capital to work to pivot your company and make payroll, to do all these things. Remember, these guys are capital constrained right now. So, you know, and for some of the tickets, you know, a Fannie ticket, a Freddie ticket, a Ginny ticket, to be able to deliver those loans directly to them, they require liquidity. So if you're, let's say your liquidity requirement's $5 million, 
and you're spending a bunch of money on the front end origination, but nothing's coming in, you may need to tap the MSRs to keep your liquidity at a sufficient level so you can actually deliver those loans efficiently and effectively. So okay, that's okay. why. All right. So now I understand what the asset is, MSR. Yes. I understand why the uh, buyers want to buy it, why the sellers want to sell it. Yes. Okay. Like, who cares about Blue Water? How does Blue Water help those parties transact? So, so a couple things. So in, in today's market, people will send, even today, in other companies, they'll send spreadsheets. They're, they'll do spreadsheets of information. And they'll send a spreadsheet between each other to trade these loans, or they'll take a they'll take a cut of information from the origination system, and it's not going to talk to the counterparty. So it's going to be long division to try to get people to translate the the language or the data in one system to another. Blue Water um, is the Rosetta Stone. Blue Water it takes all of the languages, all of the different. Um, uh, data inputs. For example, it could be something as mundane as this. Your bank says one, two, three, Mulberry Street and spells S T R E E T. And another person calls it one, two, three, Mulberry Street S T or has some other, you know, naming convention. What Blue Water has done is create a translation um, technology um, using advanced OCR and uh, machine uh, learning to be able to ingest multiple um, originators data translated into a standard format electronically, not with people, and be able to give pricing certainty to those sellers because they're matching them up with buyers that are looking to, investors that are looking to buy those, those mortgages or those mortgage servicing rights. So they have taken a spreadsheet and week long, weeks long process and turned it into a technology and minutes long process. Um, and they've also done a hell of a job um, automating the due diligence component, the review of those loans in electronic format. Now, they're about to get another enhancement. What's the enhancement? Well, it's Voxter. So now um, a lot of the, the information that they would have to, that Blue Water would have to go out to outside parties on, validate a tax, validate a title, validate a valuation. Now all of that is being electronically connected to Blue Water. So now consumers can come in and trade even faster because Blue Water is not going to be dependent on third parties to consume this data. We, Voxter, provides the data into Blue Water and the trading is quicker and every day is dollars, right? Every day is interest carry. Every day is dollars and Blue Water has automated the ingestion of the data, the trading and the pricing and the selling to the seller so it can move that much more quickly. That's what's so cool about Blue Water is it's a real um, technology-based solution that can allow the expeditious trading of whole loans and MSRs, second liens, scratch and dent, RPL, MPL, all of those things can be automated um, through Blue Water. So really, it, it's a transaction platform that allows buyers to buy what they want to buy, sellers get price certainty, and all of the validation in between can be automated. That's what's so amazing about it. And it and it it is, you know, it's hard for you to probably believe like we're in, you know, we're here, you know, September 1st and in 2022 and we're still talking about people sending out Excel spreadsheets to one another. Now we're talking about a SOC 2 type 2 compliant environment with data being transferred to and fro uh, to and from and all of the data being validated between Blue Water and Voxter. That's the strength of this platform. And that's why it's the next generation. But if you want to think about it, if you believe that the, that the market's getting worse, well, obviously you do because you're looking at stocks in the red. If you're looking at economy, you think it's going to be, get worse. If you think that inflation is going to be here for a little bit longer, if you think that we're going to be in, in a continuing um, upward rate environment, then you want to be on a platform that trades MSRs because MSRs mean liquidity for people. Um, you want to be on a platform that can trade NPLs because defaults are going to increase and you want someone that can do scratch and dent and NPL. Um, and, and you want a company that can cure um, and do due diligence with validated data and that's Voxter. So it's, it's the culmination of data and this platform that's counter cyclical. And now you understand the MSR and how it's so valuable and now you understand why it's so relevant in today's market. And for the next at least 12 months, all of these bulk trades are going to happen. So it's going to be a huge profit center. 
Um, and then, and then the other thing I said, you know, it also gives you a leg up to the extent you connect to investors. Well, investors can then force requirements downstream. Oh, you're going to use Voxer's bank bankruptcy technology. Oh, you're going to use Voxer's valuation, right? So it it brings us all the way up to the investor to the money. So follow the money, and then all of the standards come down from the money into the ecosystem. And now we're right there. So if you think about it from a strategic, it's synergy strategic it's counter cyclical strategic with the msr that you now understand and mpls which you know non-performing loans get go up and defaults go up and then it's also moving closer to the financial source to be able to connect you know what i say all the time is wall street to main street but really the investor through wall street to the consumer and that's the that's the synthesis of it that's what people should be running to boxster for is okay I'm looking at the next year of a lot of blood in the water, interest rates up, other companies aren't going to spend as much capital. All of those things mean what for Voxter? More business, more innovation, a platform that gives people liquidity in a time they need liquidity. That's what they should be taking away from this. So so it looks to me that a blue water business, it's like you have a certain market and blue water is very quickly taking market share in that market because it is improving the technology, which is Correct. like outdated. But then at the same time, that market is exploding because MSRs are hot. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And um, and it allows our other things that save money. Think about it. it. What else is the other thing? If you're getting cash constrained, you want things quicker and cheaper. It delivers the the uh, it delivers the whole loan trade cheaper and quicker. It delivers the MSR cheaper and quicker. And then if you add in other things that Voxer does, like our our, our tax, dynamic tax information, which you need to run on these portfolios, that's cheaper than the marketplace. If you add in our alternative to title, that's cheaper than the marketplace. So you know it's going to spur adoption. Remember, the investors set a lot of the standards on what can be put into the securitizations, and they can drive adoption. So they can help consumers, um, want reduced costs, and we can do that and address the reduced costs with our products. And you're going to get a push and a pull. You're going to get the investor wanting it, the consumer wanting it, and Blue Water is a platform executing on it. Okay, perfect. I think that's going to be very helpful for people. So uh, unless you have any final thoughts, thank you very much for uh, helping me understand this. No, my final thought is I appreciate you and I appreciate all the investors. And remember, I'm the largest shareholder in this company, and I believe in it. Um, we're going to have a tremendous year ahead of us. Uh, I will keep bringing, the, Marius is, is communicating with me regularly. We're going to keep bringing you updated as things change, keep you posted. Um, I want your investors to have the inside track on the, the marketplace, um, the macroeconomics, and, and what we're trying to accomplish so we can be supported. And, and that's really what we want to do. So thank you, you know, for your time, Marius, and thank you for all your listeners.